tonight, we will be discussing psychic abilities and DNA upgrades. I've been getting so much messages from the dolphin. Look at that resurrection at the bottom of the deck. Let's focus on the cards and not my face right now. A lot of messages from the dolphins, telepathic messages. Look at that nature, nature and resurrection. So I'm feeling the cause of you resurrecting your connection with nature, your connection with your psychic abilities and knowing that your partner or the person you're thinking of, the person you're calling out to, the goal you're trying to reach, it's mirroring you. So if you're afraid, if you're worried, they're going to be the same. If you're brave and you're just open, then they'll be brave and open as well. Look, share, share and resurrection. So resurrecting your connection with nature will allow you, will give you the strength to share, to share how you feel, to express how you feel. Because when you trust in nature, then you trust in the phases, whether things are going to work out or whether they're not, you know, they're all a part of a phase, all a part of the process to get you to open up, to get you to communicate clearly. The clarity, interactivity, and timing of communications is critical. So the communication, even within your thoughts, yes. Are your thoughts matching your words? Are your thoughts matching your actions? Are you trusting? Yeah, it's like someone's communicating something. Somebody's wanting to communicate something, but do they trust that what they're going to communicate or what's being communicated to them is right? Look, the trust card is that you were born a creative being and have never stopped being one. That peacock energy, making sure you're taking care of yourself and you're being vibrant. It's that energies of his feathers that allows him to find a mate. It's through him maintaining his self, maintaining his health, maintaining his thoughts that brings in that partner. Look at that. That communication is like that inner child, yeah? That telepathy. It's like that jinx energy. Like you guys already knew what each other was going to say. So make sure you're saying the right things. You're having the courage as well to speak how you feel. I'm feeling the energies of somebody already knows, but they're waiting for you to say it. <clears throat> stuck. It's stuck and capable though. You may be stuck because you're overly attached to a method or a piece. So not being attached to a certain outcome, not being attached to how things work out. You know, just going with the flow. Not every career has to be forever. Not every relationship or friendship has to be forever and nor do they have to end. So release the attachment to whatever outcome. You can successfully deal with whatever challenges and circumstances arise. So the divines are saying that you'll be successful. But don't become too attached. Because it could just be success within that moment. Yeah, within the now moment. So just enjoy every now moment. Enjoy people as they come and go. Enjoy opportunities and experiences as they come and go. Direction. Switch gears, reboot, and try a new and different direction. So the different direction is seeing that you're not stuck and seeing that you are capable. And through communication, the communication is going to allow you to pick a direction. You know, whether it's a yes or a no, a stop or a go, it's going to allow you 
switch gears, but I'm also seeing trying a different approach on how you communicate. When, where, and how. And trust that what you're wanting to communicate is going to move you in the, the right direction. Even if it's you not getting what you expected. Look at that. Wounds withheld support from the past can cause low self-esteem that cripples action. Even if it's you not getting what you want. Yeah, maybe someone has always been in situations where they felt that they didn't get what they want and they didn't trust that the divines were not giving it to you because it wasn't the right moment, the right career, the right person, or just not the right time because there are still wounds that needed to be healed. You are still transforming. You still are transforming and going through this transformation. Allow the energy of fear to be transformed by love, creativity, and compassion. So somebody was or is stuck because of fear, because of past wounds or wounds that they're still transforming into beauty, into a story. Explore, someone's traveling, someone's moving quickly and exploring but I'm feeling like you're ha you're being called to explore internally rather than externally and if you already did the internal or you're feeling like you know it's something that you need to switch directions but I'm seeing the switching directions and how you communicate and how you explore trust your imagination to help you journey through your inner landscape to find what you seek that's that. It's the number eight. What goes around comes around. But also abundance. So that's exploring through your capability. But that imagination, that tele um, telepathy, the psychic abilities. So knowing that you have the pl power to explore your imagination. Explore what it is you seek. Let's get some angels and ancestors. See what type of protection you all have from your spirit guides. You are not alone and spring. See your seeds grow. Mm, there's those wind chimes. You're not alone. Even when you think you're alone, even when you're traveling through your inner landscapes, even when you're going inward, they're there. You know, we can't bring anybody with us when we're going inward, but our guides are there always within every wish, within every thought, within every dream, within every fear. They're always there. And they're saying trust. And when you trust in the wounds, in the past hurts, past failures, past mistakes, mistakes in this now moment, when you trust, that's when you're going to see the seeds grow. That's when you're going to start seeing the growth within self. That's when you're going to start seeing that you haven't been alone. They've been there all along. But what was lacking was the trust. The trust that things are working out for you. Even when they seem to be failing. Look at that high priest. Intend and create. Set in your intentions and allow the divines to create it for you. Yeah, this is the stuck card. Not becoming overly attached. If you set your intentions, if you're doing what you're being called to, then know that it's coming. Then trust. Don't focus on... The past hurts and past mistakes. Look, he's intending and creating and he's trusting that he's not alone. Look at that feather energy. Guided by the divines. Hear the calls and follow through. I'm seeing someone ask for something. 
someone been asking for something and it shows up in a totally different package and now you're saying i don't want it and it's spirit saying this is what you asked for possibly i don't want it because it comes with challenges and obstacles but it's the test you know you can't just ask for something and expect it to fall out of the sky it's going to come with challenges and obstacles to make sure you're ready for what it is <clears throat> you've been asking for you've been asking for this growth you've been asking for this transformation and here it is or here are the opportunities for you to grow are you open or are you running from it or are they open or are they running from it sheesh, sheesh, sheesh. let me start that again hold up Sorry if that was so loud. <gasps> Ambulance. Is that Archangel Michael? Are they open or are they running from it? No, they're open and they're coming in to rescue. Or the divines are going to intervene. Whoa, those are crazy sirens. The divines are going to intervene. Whether you're open or not. And if you're not open, you might just end up redoing a cycle all over again. A cycle that has already been completed. So get ready. Look, a cycle that's already been completed. You already completed this cycle. You already completed the indecision. So don't go back on it. This is indecisiveness that comes with a lot of missed opportunities. That's going on to see your seeds grow communication and directions so with those blindfolds on you can't see your seeds grow you can't even you're not even wanting to try a new direction in the way you communicate in the way in the seeds that you're planting someone whether it's you or someone around you the person you're thinking of they're not even wanting to try it try a different route try a different route yeah look the root of the seeds and the root of your path Heavy burdens. You are not alone. That's going on the you are not alone card. Somebody's trying to carry the load all by themselves when the divines are there to help you. They want to lift that weight off your shoulder, but you have to trust them. Trust that they can help heal these wounds. Even if it's wounds of not being able to trust anybody helping you carry these loads. Maybe you in the past let someone carry the load for you. Or you carried loads for people and it just didn't work out. But don't let the past have you keep you in a space where you're not accepting support. Where you're staying in lack mentality when you're insecure and having low self-esteem. They're wanting to help and see because of the indecisiveness, then it comes stress and exhaustion because then, you know, you miss out on opportunities. Look at that travel. Look, that's going on explore. See, someone's traveling, but traveling externally. I'm seeing it as external travel. Somebody's supposed to be going inward, setting intentions. Allowing the divines to create something new within you. So it's like even within the travel, someone's still feeling stuck. Someone's still feeling stuck because their the travel is holding them back from transforming. Because they're they're trying to steer the ship alone when the divines are there. Trying to take matters into your own hands. Matters. Matters into your own hands. Controlling situations that are out of your control. The magician. Someone's waiting. Waiting for results. Waiting to see if the intentions they set will be manifested. 
But in order for you to be successful, in order for you to success, successfully deal with whatever challenges and circumstances are arising, you have to go inward. But there is a lot of manifest manifestations and making your wishes coming true. But I'm seeing you bring it in alone. You forget that you forgetting that the divines are by your side. So now you're going to go through this rebirthing process during Scorpio season. This is that Scorpio energy. Number 13. Number 13. Fully releasing, fully releasing the past. Whatever kept you stuck, you know, even if you didn't see it at the time, I realized the day after the October 13th or something, and we've been getting the number 13 a lot, and that was the birth date of one of my past relationships who had actually passed away, and... You know, going through this rebirthing process, this metamorphosis, changing how we see life, changing how we see death, how we see the endings and the beginnings. See, in the past, the eyes were closed and was blindfolded. And here it is, again, blindfolded and, I mean, closed, but not blindfolded this time because she's closing her eyes to tap in. He's closing his eyes to tap in to their intuition, to their ancestors, to the underworld, to their instincts. Knowing that things have to come to an end in order for new things to grow. But I, I felt the release. I felt the release maybe about at the beginning of this year. And not releasing to forget, but just releasing so I can live. Yeah, look at that. Now the eyes are open and fully trusting in the intuition, allowing the intuition to guide you. This is someone who knows. You've, you've been knowing, but it's been heavy to put it down and offer help and it's like you know holding on to the past even if you don't see it at the time it's something that can hinder growth stop new experiences from coming in <sighs> but I'm feeling like you have someone there with you someone who's passed on and they're saying it's time It's time to begin. It's time to be open. Let's get a card from the mono deck. I charged my phone earlier and when I plugged it in, it was at 13%. And it's like somebody's going through this metamorphosis process the death of something, the death of a mindset, the death of past wounds. And it's like finally getting able, being able to charge up, to recharge, to become whole again. Riding the waves, going with the flow. Cooling down the tempa. Self-reflection, yeah, cooling down the tempo. Releasing, releasing anger, releasing fear, releasing worry. Self-reflection and forgiveness. So forgiving self, forgiving the divines, forgiving people from your past, forgiving your family. To release. To release yourself from that net yeah there's a hole in the net now that's where the release comes from forgiveness releasing guilt releasing resentment 
And there's that rainbow, Rahina, the moon goddess, nurturing, nurturing your path. When you release, then you're able to nurture your path. You're able to nurture others as well. This is a collective reading, so it may or may not resonate. If you want to book a personal reading, you are more than welcome to uh, check out the description box for all the information. When we end this, we're going to connect to our breath. We're going to release with the buzz of the bees to tap into that internal medicine. Call them home, allow them to pollinate, allow us to bloom. I love you all so very much. Picturing a light going down our spine as we feel our cores, letting our cores rise, not our chest. Hmm. When I was doing that, there was an air bubble in my um in my mouth, so I feel like an air pocket. What is that? There's room, there's room, there's time for you to catch a breath to make the right decision. When you're communicating, make sure you're breathing. I love you all. I'm gonna do my zodies. I love you.